All right, this is a home theater projector job. Right now we're gonna um, we're gonna put a 7.1, so we're gonna be flush mount speakers all along in the ceiling, and so basically three in the front, center, left, and right speaker, one on the side near that uh, light can, another one on the side. Those are the surround speakers, and the surround back speaker is gonna be back there. And uh, there was no attic space, by the way. There's no attic access to this to this area right here. So what we did is we corrated one and uh, you can see the, the rafters, whatever. So you can actually climb in there. It's too much. So I'm gonna take a look. Uh, let's climb up in here. Take a look what we got. And this is gonna be a projector job. So we created this hole. And uh, it's probably be like 12 inches space right here with the air duct. So what we're gonna have to do is use fish rods and fish tape to fish all the wires to this closet and use a infrared sensor extender and uh, hook it all up to a Harmony Lutch Tech remote or RF signal. So it goes through walls when you change the channels. So that's what we're working with. It's very, this is gonna be a tough one just because we can't access the attic. But the projector screen is going to go there. It's a 150 inch projector screen, I think. And then uh, the subwoofer and whatnot. And then we got a bunch of speaker wire. And we're cutting out the holes for the flush mount speakers, measuring from the light cans. And we get a measurement from the light can so it's all even. We'll use a template and kind of uh, trace out the hole. We trace it all out. Once you trace it all out, start cutting. Stud there. It's gotta be a better way of doing this. There's another stud there, so it's between the studs. So uh, it's the front right, okay. surround right, surround back right, surround back left, surround left, front left, and center speaker right here, which was a pain in the butt because we had to drill through there and then run the fish rods across to that hole and then run that through where all those wires are dropped down into the closet. So we got all the and that one's mounted up. That that speaker is installed. So the front left speaker is the first one done. And I'm doing this one right here. Screwed in screwdriver on the sides right there. That's pretty good. And this, brush these in. You have a hard time getting these in. You have to put a little triangle cut in it. See? And they go in. I 
how do we get to have those spacers? It's a front right speaker, this center speaker, part one, part projector. One, how to patch with business cards. We don't want to see that. Done and done. There's a surround left speaker, surround back left, a monkey. And then the um, surround back left, and then surround right speaker, and the front right speaker, and that's the projector screen. And that's where the projector is going to go. And it all pushes down. Right here. So we lined up the projector. Got the good throw on it, I think so. And you got the center, front left, front right speaker, surround left, surround right, back, surround left, back, surround right. Two way speakers has a high and a mid range, so it's a two in one speaker, so two speakers in one. And then, uh, we dropped them all, we made a little hatch right there because there was no attic access. So we, uh, we had to make one for ourselves. We got the cables coming in. All hooked up right here in the closet. And we got the Blu-ray connected to DVD port. Cable box connected to the cable sat. And you change it through here. But we got it all programmed. I'm going to program it all to this Harmony remote right here. It's touch screen and it has a, like a you know help button too. So if you can't, if you has uh, no video signal or no sound on something, you hit that help button. And it'll ask you yes or no questions and send a signal to correct the problem. Make sure you're on the right video source or audio source. That's it. We have to, uh, this computer um, tells programs the codes. We just type in the model numbers of the devices and uh, how it's all connected to the receiver, and it sends that information through the USB data <coughs> right here and stores it in, uh, the, in the Harmony remote. That's it. Uh, we are all programmed on the one remote now. So you hit activities button. And then you can press one of these functions, watch TV or watch DVD. Right here. So we hit watch TV. And it should turn on right there. Just like that. We got everything in that closet. Right here, it's all the stuff right there in the closet, and this all works because it's, we're using an infrared extender, which is plugged in right there, the little wire right there, it's infrared extender, and it goes up in the attic and drops down in that closet, and then in there. So hit activities button. Watch DVD. Now it should change the input for a um, video source on that Sony receiver. Just like so. Do the volume up. turn everything off and it turns everything off the projector <coughs> the receiver cable box glory player everything and that's it and it's all connected all through here
Thanks for watching. Post a comment and subscribe. Hit the like button if you like. If you don't like, hit the like button. Anyway.